So I'm on an urgent mission to find some white fur for my Xion's weapon, which is Hercules Edge. Let's see if we can find some white fur today. Later. I was in a hurry and I forgot to film, but I got my full fur from Spotlight in my town shopping center in the end, where there were lots of options of fabrics to choose from and a minimum length to be purchased is 0.25 meters. And thanks to the Promega DA for his help on the backbone of the sword, all I needed to do was to cut out the cardboard and use this duct tape to tape. Tape, 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 tape. So that is this. Well, it's just using physics. More like physical. I first used cellophane tape to help seal tight both of the cardboards, then duct tape to hold the structures intact as they are the toughest. I think I used four of them. <laughs> I mean, look at the video, how much I was taping them. But trust me. As an amateur in prop making, the last thing I want is my prop breaking parts during the event. I used masking tape when I wanted to gently put the cardboards into shapes, and oh, I inserted the used tape rolls into the hollow space so nothing can press this on it. Woo! Anyways, I needed to layer the surface with putty instead of using pipe glue and kitchen roll for Bishamon Psyche. I wanted to experiment a different method for a smoother surface. As I was using mirror paint, these paints don't grip well on the surface of tapes. My theory is you can paint it evenly on the same material surface. Then the rest is paint, dry, paint, flip over, repeat the putty process, then paint, dry, paint. Oh shit, it's a different shade of grey! Just layer over it. Then draw and paint the blade. The overall is pretty much done. I didn't get to film the process of this, as I was out of memory space. But in short, I used this glue again to stick the fofer all over the quillant block. The next step. 